In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about four general cases of slope. We can have a line that has a positive slope, or a negative slope, or a slope of zero, or an undefined slope. So we'll talk about all four, and we'll look at pictures of them, just to get a rough idea of how they look. So the slope is the rise divided by the run. And another way of saying that is that the slope is the change in y, that's how much we've gone up between two points, divided by the change in x, which is how much we go over between two points. Now another way of looking at it is that the slope is the amount that the line goes up when it goes right one unit. So the amount the line goes up when it goes right one. And the reason for this is we can take any number and we can write it as a fraction over 1. So that means we could take any slope, like 8.2 maybe, and we could write it as 8.2 over 1, which would be a rise of 8.2 for a run of 1. So that's it goes up 8.2 if it goes right 1. So it's just another way of sort of measuring it. You can measure it over any run you want, or you can measure it over 1, a run of 1. Okay, so we've got a few, uh, four really, broad categories of what the slope could be. Of course, it could be any different number. But if it looks like this, as it goes over, it goes up a positive number. So it could be like that, it could be like this. Any sort of line that goes right and up at the same time. So this is going up a positive number, so that slope is positive. Okay, the opposite, of course, is if you had a line, a point, maybe, and as you went along the line, it goes right, it goes down. So that would be going up a negative number. So if you go right and down, here you have a negative slope. Could be, could be really subtle, could be like this, going right and down a really small number, something like that. Okay, now there's sort of two things that are in a way in between these two. The first one is if we had a perfectly horizontal line. Now the slope is the amount the line goes up when it goes right one. So as we go right, it's not going up at all. So this is the slope of zero. This makes sense if we talk about slope like hilliness. For example, if something is flat, there's no slope there, we'd say in real life. In, in math, we don't say that there's no slope, we just say that there's a slope of zero, or there's zero slope. So any sort of horizontal line. It's supposed to be horizontal there. We'll give us a a slope of zero. Now the only other case is a vertical line. This one is slightly tricky in a way. It's in a way it's the zero slope was between positive and negative. And this slope also is. Here's a positive line, we move it over it becomes negative, but this is in between here. And in this case, we're going up infinitely fast. Okay, and in fact, we don't know as we go right, are we going up infinitely fast or infinitely, are we going down infinitely fast? This is in a way an infinite slope, but we don't know if it's positive or negative. So instead of calling it an infinite slope, what we call it is an undefined slope. So it turns out there's no really good way to quantify this, to put a number on it. Um, so if we have a vertical line, we call it an undefined slope. All right, good luck.